Hey everybody, it's Phil Stamper, and I thought I'd do something a little bit different by running down with you some of the hottest movie releases that are going to come out for the rest of the month of November and give you my picks for winter of the weekend because this season, this winter movie season is about to kick up and be all oh, hella hot. Why do I say it that way? Because it's all about the love, baby. It's all about Edward and Bella. It's all about James Bond and any Bond girl he can get. It's Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman down in Australia. And there's Vince Vaughn. Oh, and let's not forget Disney's obsession with Miley Cyrus. It's the month of November, and here are my pick choices for premiere weekends. Of course, this weekend we saw the entrance of the Quantum of Solace and the Christmas Tale. And if you just shook your head going, what the hell is a Christmas Tale? You're not the only one. They really didn't do a lot, of, a really good job of kind of promoting this, this movie. Apparently it's like some depressed guy uh, who, who his wife isn't really happy with him. His kids don't really like him anymore. So he walks around the city all depressed and then he reconnects with his wife and he reconnects with his kids and they all have a holly jolly Merry Christmas. Apparently I've now saved your life 89 minutes and 50 seconds by giving you away the plot in 10 seconds. Save yourself $10. It'll be on TBS next year. Definitely by far and large the winner of the weekend is going to be James Bond in Quantum of Solace. Daniel Craig, of course, stars as James Bond, but will this be his last, last role as James Bond? He may be leaving the James Bond train. That does not mean we're not going to see any further installments. I think we'll always have some, something to do with James Bond in our lives. But Daniel Craig has gotten a lot of mixed reviews as to whether or not he's really a good enough actor for James Bond. Apparently everybody thinks he's a great actor, but not necessarily James Bond material. You figure that one out. But uh, a lot of interesting mixed reviews. Was there a great story or was there not? Was there a lot of good action or was it just filler guns and violence and shooting? You take your pick. You watch it. I haven't seen it yet. Let me know what you think. Respond below. Next weekend, of course, is going to be even a bigger weekend because we have two movies out of the four that are pre premiering that are definitely going to take us by storm. Of course, the two, of course, no one has heard about is Special and Lake City. I'm sorry, guys, no one really knows about you. Again, two more that you'll probably see on TNT maybe in a month or like in the dollar bin at Walmart next year. Sorry, guys. The two that are going to walk away, the big winners, Bolt. Disney's digital 3D's premiere of with John Travolta, Miley Cyrus, Michael McDowell, Claire Holt, Nick Swarston, and Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, baby. But of course, they are going to be so surpassed by what's going to come out with Twilight, the ever-loving love story with Edward and Isabella and vampires and werewolves and evil and good and light and torture and love. All put together, it's a literary adaptation, or excuse me, it's a movie adaptation of a literary work. There you go. But will they mess it up in the way that they kind of mess up, and I use air quotes when I say mess up, mess up the Harry Potter franchise, because it's not going to be a direct book adaptation. But, and people are so upset with the Harry Potter franchise that it wasn't taken literally word for word. Well, the same thing happened with Twilight. Will people be happy? People will be upset. There's a lot more people, I think, who didn't read the Twilight books, who did read the Harry Potter books. So I think going into it, a lot of people are going to be, oh, this is going to be really awesome. Yay. Hopefully it'll be enough to keep us casual fans who have not read the books yet in line for a whole movie series. Apparently they have not officially signed on for the, all of the books to be made into movies yet. But Twilight will be kind of the tester, but by far and wide, I think that'll be the weekend winner, Twilight, ladies and gentlemen, because movie, movie theaters have already been selling out of tickets for their opening nights. So if you don't have your ticket, you might want to wait, or you might want to go ahead and get it now, because <laughs> you're not going to have it at the end of the week. And of course, on the 26th, we have three movies that are coming out. All three actually have some recognition to them, which I'm rather surprised. Jason Statham returns in Transporter 3. Apparently the gimmick this time is he can't, if he leaves the car and is further than like 10 feet for five seconds, or something ridiculous, the car will explode. So lots of action and stunts flipping out of cars and him diving through building windows and driving cars and driving cars. I don't think we're going to see a lot from Transporter 3 that we haven't already seen before. Jason Statham is actually a relatively decent actor, and I think he needs more, needs different kind of work. Maybe if Daniel Craig is going to leave the James Bond franchise, why not get Jason Statham? He can do a lot of the action, and he seems to be a really competent actor, and people seem to actually kind of like him, and just don't understand why he's stuck in movies like Transporter. Then, of course, we have Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon visiting four different segments of their family and four Christmases. They missed their flight to Puerto Rico or Peru or wherever they were going to go to celebrate. They were like, you know what this means? That means that we have to go visit our families. Why not just stay yourself locked in, like, a nice, you know, a nice hotel somewhere? If you already lost your ability to go down there, go home and, like, just lock yourself in. Family, oh, we had a great time in Puerto Rico. Apparently not, because then you would whole, ruin the whole plot for the whole movie. So Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon visit, visit four of their families. Uh, segments for Christmas celebrations. I'm kind of pausing for a minute because this is probably going to be the biggest comedy 
of the winter season. Unfortunately, it just really just isn't ringing that great of a bell for me. And I think, uh, but definitely going to make a lot of money. It's going to make a lot more money than Transporter 3. But I just don't know what I really think about it. It's not going to be anything new or different or exciting. But we, of course, have the big movie biopic of with Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman. Two native Australians actually going to be in a movie called Australia. You'd think a movie might have been written for them. Maybe we'll see. That is definitely going to be the movie of the weekend that's going to get the most Oscar nods. At the same time, I think it's going to be Four Christmases that's going to walk away the winner on November 26th. And one last, it's not really a weekend premiere, but it is in the month of November. It's a movie called Milk. I really couldn't even find much out about it, but on apparently November 28th, a movie named Milk is going to hit our screens. Hopefully it'll leave us laughing so hard that milk will be coming out of our nose. That's right. I went there. Definitely, please feel free to subscribe on the side, leave comments below. It was something a little different I wanted to try. It was only five, oh, almost six minutes long. You have a good one. I'll catch you next time.